In this lesson, we will be covering packages, package managers, and how to find, install, and remove software for the most popular Linux distributions. Typically, when you install software on a Linux system, you do so with a package. A package is just a collection of files that make up an application. Additionally, a package contains data about the application as well as any steps required to successfully install and remove that application. The data or metadata that is contained within a package can include such information as the description of the application, the version, and a list of dependencies or other packages that this particular application needs in order to function. A package manager is used to install, upgrade, and remove packages. The package manager uses a package's metadata to automatically install any required dependencies. Package managers keep track of what files belong to what packages, what packages are installed, and what versions of those packages are installed. Here is a list of distributions that are based on the RPM package format. RPM stands for Red Hat Package Manager. Obviously, the Red Hat distribution uses RPMs, as well as CentOS, Fedora, Oracle Linux, and Scientific Linux. The yum command line utility is a package management program for those Linux distributions that use RPM packages. You can find packages to install with yum, search, and provide that a search string. You can also display information about a package or an application by using yum, info, and the package name. You can install packages with the yum install package command. Yum will typically ask you to review your request and say yes or no if you want to continue. To automatically answer yes to Yum's question, use dash Y. Also note that installing or removing software requires root or super user privileges. To remove a package, it's simply Yum, remove, and the name of the package. In addition to the Yum command, you can also use the RPM command to interact with the package manager. RPM-QA lists all the installed packages. RPM-QF, with a path to a file, will tell you what package that file belongs to. Using RPM-QL, package name will list all the files that belong to that particular package. To install a package, use RPM-IVH and the package file. To erase or uninstall a package, use RPM-E with a package name. Let's look for an application to install. Let's look for something called Inkscape. So we'll do a search. And then we see three items returned. Let's do yum info on each one of those and see what they do. Inkscape dash docs. That it says it's a tutorial and examples for Inkscape. That's not what we're looking for. Let's look at the next one was Inkscape and that says it's a graphics editor so that is the package that we want so in order to install or remove software we need root privileges we can use sudo if that's configured or we can also just switch to the root user I will switch to root and use admin user as the password for this server and we'll do yum install Inkscape Says, is it okay to download this? Yes, it is. I'll hit Y and enter. All right, it says it installed our package there. You can also use yum install with a dash Y, so you don't have to answer Y uh, to the question here. We'll do this with another piece of software called GIMP. And you can see that this has several dependencies, so it not only installs the application, but it installs the other packages that are required for GIMP to run properly. Okay, let's look in our applications list or graphics, and you can see that Inkscape and GIMP has been installed on our system. 
Let's remove some software with yum. Remove. We'll do this to GIMP. And then, like install, you could use dash Y to answer yes automatically. I'll just do it manually here. And it says it erased that package. So let's look. Applications, graphics, and GIMP is no longer showing up in our menu. Let's say there's some software that you want to install that's not included in the package manager. Let's look for Dropbox. So you can't use YAM to install Dropbox, or at least directly. So we'll go to dropbox.com. We'll download the RPM. That's saved in this directory here. So we can install an RPM with dash I for install. V is verbose and H says print some hash marks to show our progress. So we'll just do that here. And we'll answer OK. Dropbox was successfully installed. So you can see. There it is, Dropbox. We installed Dropbox. You could also use RPM to do some queries. So we'll use RPM-QA to query all packages or to list all packages that are installed on the system. And then when we do this, we can see that they're in no particular order. We'll sort the list so it makes it easier for us to read. We'll sort it and pipe it to a pager so we can look at it one page at a time. And there we go. Yeah, all the way to the end. You can see yum, zlib, etc. So you can also ask RPM what file a package belongs to. So the program which lives at user bin which so will ask RPM what package does that belong to. And it's the which package. You can also say show me all the files or list all the files that are in that package. We'll just give it the package name. And you can see that user bin which, in addition to these other files, are contained in that particular package. Another popular package format is the Debian package format. In addition to Debian, distributions like Linux Mint and Ubuntu use deb packages. The Debian-based distributions use a package manager called apt, the advanced packaging tool. Apt is comprised of a few small utilities, with the two most commonly used ones being apt cache and apt get. To search for packages, use apt cache search and the search string. To install a package, use apt get install and the package name. You can use dash y to automatically answer yes to any of apt get's questions. To remove a package, use apt get remove. If there are any configuration files or configuration changes, those will stay on your system with apt get remove. However, if you want to get rid of the configuration in addition to the package, you can use apt get purge package. To show information about a particular package, use apt cache show and the package name. In addition to the apt utilities, you can use the dpkg command to interact with the package manager dpackage-l lists the installed packages. dpackage space dash capital S and a path to a file will display the package that the file belongs to. dpackage with a dash capital L will list all the files in a package. And to install a package, use dpkg space dash I and the deb file. Here we are on an Ubuntu system. Let's use app to look for and install some software. We'll look for Inkscape and the first result return there looks like what we want. Let's take a look at it with app cache show. Give some information about the package, its dependencies, uh, its description. So we will install that with apt get install. And installing and removing software requires root privileges. 
You can get root privileges by using the sudo command. That's one way. You could also switch to the root account. Do I want to continue? Yes, we'll install this software. Okay, now the software installation is done. We can see if we can find it. And sure enough, we can see that it's installed. You can also just answer yes to app's question with a dash Y. So we'll go ahead and install GIMP this way. Okay, GIMP is installed. And we can see there it is. So we'll go ahead and just remove it. We'll do app get remove. Again, we need root privileges to add or remove software. And GIMP is now gone from the system. Let's look at installing software from a deb file. I'm on Ubuntu here. Let's download the .deb for Ubuntu. We'll use dpackage-i to do the installation. And Dropbox is installed. We can use dpackage-l to list all the installed packages. Let's see, let's use dpackage-s and see which file, uh, which package the which command belongs to. It belongs to the Debian Utils package. So we can look at all the files in the Debian Utils package with the dash capital L command. Let's, yeah, you can see at the very bottom user bin which. Packages are used to install software on Linux systems. You can manipulate packages with a package manager. Two of the most popular package formats are RPM and Debian. For RPM-based distributions, use the yum and RPM commands to manage packages. For Debian-based distributions, use apt and dpackage to manage packages.